And the shutdown is over, at least for now. And that means rangers in the National Park Service are back on the job in places like Northeast Florida's Timucuan Preserve. Some patrons of the park, they continued enjoying the lands over the past month. But rangers and real people alike, they seem thrilled to unlock the doors and again enjoy the outdoors. Some tentatively strolled up on the visitor's center, and others ran across the trails that they know so well. About 47,000 acres of uplands and marsh offering history and recreation once again in Jacksonville. You can go to the Kingsley Plantation, you can go to Fort Caroline. Uh, there's the Theodore Roosevelt area right here with 400 acres of trails and different things to do. Timaquan Preserve Superintendent Chris Hughes says that he and his staff couldn't wait to return to their jobs. That's only partially because they weren't paid during the shutdown. It's mostly from their love of the parks and the natural beauty. We have these jobs because we're very passionate and we love what we do and love protecting these natural and cultural resources. So just to be able to come in and, you know, get back to that public service, I think put a smile on everybody's face for sure. Hughes pointed out what he loves and pointed patrons in the right direction. And that includes a couple from South Carolina heading south, but hoping for Timucuan as a first stop. We're going to uh, Key West to the Dry Tortugas, uh, Everglades, and other Biscayne. national parks, Biscayne. And uh, we're hoping that everything's open and up and running. They'd call me even when the government was shut down, just wondering, you know, when, when can we come back? How, what can we do to help? You know, I mean, you can tell that these national parks in Jacksonville mean a lot to people. Workers who missed a paycheck, they're scheduled to get back pay soon, as soon as Thursday. And the superintendent you just heard from told us that they've got 23 rangers on the job right now, but they had hired people just before the shutdown. So now the park is back to the onboarding process and training those new workers for the job.